So hello everybody, warm welcome here to the Buck Park for this Ballymore Cup match between Strathclass and Inverness in the first round. Winner of this match will go through to face Kalmori and on Aberdour from the south. As both teams are in the lower leagues, they'll be thinking it's a great opportunity to make progress in this intermediate championship competition. So Inverness in the world three. Strap in. Right, finding Stephen Hislop. Kick given against Inverness. Robbie Stokes, the Italian stallion. Penny Jones, Stephen Hislop will stand over it. for staff glass early on. Been quite good on the free hits so far this season. Well it's cleared out. Well cleared by Inverness with a bit of a palm in fact. Andrew Patterson keeps it going. Big Fort Augustus man. There keeps the ball moving down Henry Todd, Ray Todd just knocks it across. Find Stephen Hislop. Stephen Hislop through and it goes over. Wins it. Robbie Stocks scored, of course, against Bewley in the cup earlier on this season. All in vain, however, as the Strath eventually succumbed after a valiant performance to Bewley 4 1 after extra time. But Robbie, for 15 goalies minutes, had the team lead, anyways. Stephen Hislop again, obviously, been tasked with the thing. Knocks it wide. Robbie Stokes after. Uh, never this defender tries to clear. Henry Jones across, no sorry, Rudy Todd across, sorry, and Rudy Todd across, Rudy in great form for the under-17s at the moment, and he has scored five goals this season, Henry's on nine I think, or maybe 11, I can't remember, in the league, but it's an opportunity to, and here you'll hear the shows behind us here at the Buck Park, I'm in the new outside park. See over on the far side the refurbishment of the, the Buck Park going ahead. A lot of work being invested in the ball comes in here. Jim McLean gives it as a corner. So, yes, the final of the uh, Bucks Hall is the home of the McTavish final. Um, it was being played at the Eland this year. Home of Newton Moore. Cabernet Cup final in the air, but the final of this, the Ballymore Cup, will be played at Speenbridge. That's the Ferguson's transport and shipping. Oh, a little neck through for Roy Stokes. Oh, another corner. So Strath got some nice early pressure here. They have the wind behind them, which is rare at the Buck. It usually goes from the Great Glen end, the, the ice rink end, um, but this time it's coming down from the town. It's quite strong as well. Oh, ball comes into through. Here we go, Stephen Hislop. Keepers in the foot all over him. But it's through. Oh, Hislop over the top. <laughs> but great ball there. And it seems to have been given for another corner. So I think it must have taken deflection. It went over. So the Strath really looking to impose them. They've been in great form this year, undefeated, except in the cup competition. But they'll be hoping to get their first cup win of the year. They're looking towards. Five minute mark here, ball through. This time it's Penny Jones, that's surely going to be it. But it's the side netting. Strath happy enough with this start, but to no early goal for their efforts from that concerted pressure. Beautiful day here in Inverness. 
sight of Mr. Cross's famous game. It was games indeed against uh, the Glen. 87, 88. Jones up. Chance for him next attack. It's going to be a try for the Strath. And it's had a fine try in the middle here, Seth Jones. Put Strath in. Putting the Buckshee back to roll. Seth Jones pops out to Patterson. Patterson. Patterson just needs a wee bit of help to get it away. Oh, yep. Yeah. Reness, Reness hunting in packs there. Jones. Seth Jones in a battle there, but the goal comes up. His luck. His luck. Just to get it through. Neil McCallum now. Oh, and this time he puts it through. Finding Penny Jones. Penny Jones putting the Inverness full pack under pressure, but it goes out for the goal hit. It's a chance for Straff to put it back up the end. That's what they'll be wanting. Let Renes get it going up the line. This guy back into Osha. I think. Sure, what's happening here? I think it's Rath Grasser coming as their own. Given another way, you can got there eventually. So, Don Fraser. Not the best, not quite that far though. Let's we'll see this time launches it up well though, nicely. It's up through. Adam McMaster gets a good stack right in front of us here. Keeping it going. Hey! Hey! 
Jones, Seth Jones, Finney Jones, two brothers have combined to great effect this season. Very Todd wins it. What can the young man do? He gets it beats the defender. Inverness get the chance to clear easily though, and that's the frustration of the, the bench here, Darren Reed and Robert Geddes. Back to Jake Shy. There's over 10 minutes gone in this game. Remains Inverness nil, Strathglass nil. Good Shy though. Ball comes in across. Stahan. In his hood. Well cleared by Steve Bishop. Inverness are able to get the ball up. <laughs> <laughs> but another silly wee try, another wee silly foul. Dangerous in your ice uh, climbing photography, this mate. Oh, okay, <laughs> Much more technical, though. So, joined by Ryan Balhari and uh, Bonnie Witherspoon. How's the game going so far, boys, in your opinion? Yeah, definitely need to make it capitalise when we can, though. Yeah. What about yourself, Ryan? What's your opinion? I'm not sure I've watched the game in long enough to have a <laughs> that. I've, got, I've got no useful yeah. input and I'm, I don't do it every week mate. So. I, feel, I feel like the score should be more for us than we get. It's hot. That's what we get in the Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Strathglass really strong our first 10 minutes, but kind of maybe letting the Inverness clear a bit too easily sometimes. All coming in here, Battle McCallum, Patterson. Neil McCallum after it. Down the middle, finds Robbie Stokes. Robbie Stokes will collect. Doesn't get it too far though. Cleared. Patterson again. Patterson's been solid. solid since he's been ball out. Stephen Hislop tries to go for the spectacular, but oh, he's caught it again though. It's a foot race for it. The town get it. It's up the park. Through. A bit of pressure on here. Ewan Campbell, Rudy Hughes up front. Chance for the bit cleared. Well, by Cameron Butler. That's a hot, hot day, so it's going to be about which team deals with the heat best. And it's given that way. So Michael Stokes is going to come on and play an early, early substitution. Again, though. That was the voice of his brother in law you heard there earlier on. Yes. Family ties are important. Thank you, Michelle. Thank 
It's like a brewery going to release a uh, special Strathbass themed uh, beer for the summer. It's called I IP Henry Jones. Oh, 0%. 0%. At the moment, anyway, not got much of a hit, but uh, that'll change soon enough. He knows where the goal is. Starting to compete a bit strong. Hey, hey. Ball. Ruh, it's got to be wide. And indeed, down the middle. It's kind of falling into Wait for the ball. What's wrong with Stokes is slotted in at full back, replacing Don Fraser. Right, your line. Keep going, lads. Keep going. Right, Lou. Right, Seth. There's a chance, this could be dangerous. Oh! Strathgar's get away with it. But that could have seen the Strath cut open. Stokes eight, big hit. Thanks, Rudy Todd. Todd's been in great form for the under 17s recently. Thanks, Robbie Stokes. Stokes in, through, but too much on it. And it goes in there. We've got the following wind here. So, like we were saying earlier on in the commentary, it's rare that the wind blows this way in Inverness. It usually comes all the way up the Great Glen here, up the Buck towards the town. But this time it's coming down from the town. Uh, North Easterly. This breeze is probably all that's keeping us from dying a heat stroke here. It's a beautiful hot day. Well, I've done plenty of this in Afghan, though, I'm sure. Ball <laughs> comes in. So, challenge is raised to the Raised to the Too far. Callum and frustration. Staff will have to just make sure they don't get too frustrated with each other, though. Where's it? And it'll be a shy. Right, Number down. Right. Green, black, and west get down to from Strathmore himself. Straight in the middle of the park. Inverness was down here this way for some youth journey during the week. Inverness had a good numbers out training, so they know again. Disrespect to Aberdown and Kilmody, but teams will see that as a, a good game to play. Uh, in the next round at the Ballymore. Of a semi final for all four cups, you can see. But um, Inverness will know that that's an opportunity for them to get the semi final of the Ballymore as well. I think it's uh, GM Euro and Celtic will be waiting in the other half of the round. So, National Division opposition plus some. Uh, Some engineering. Across. 
across by Seth Jones. This is again the first bit of average wheel pressure for the staff for a while. So can we capitalise where they did before? Pocock's heads in the way is probably a blessing there. It's 1 0 Inverness, Charlie McDonald. Bit of a poor, but after just about 20 minutes to go, and it's Inverness. Two minutes gone, Inverness making the best of their attacks. A good finish. There's no danger here for the Strath. Strachan, for the club will just be having a look to see when nothing serious or really goes down for a while. I don't doubt it, my brain's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a corner over at the far side oh, there over the oh, Balaferry oh, Houses. What comes across? Back post. How the hell are not making that I think she's been helping me, that's awful. Pocock falls it out. Ian Pocock's kind of slotted into Rhys Strachan's left wing centre. Come on, lads, my Pocock! 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 Come on, Really good goal. Weathered a lot of uh, staff pressure without very much efforts on. No, no, no. Fired up. Oh, Inverness so, will be very happy if we went ahead. Probably Strath have had a lot more of the territory, the possession, the pressure, but uh, Inverness, when they have come forward, have looked dangerous. Looked dangerous enough that they got a goal. So they won the lap. 
Good for Mr. Gisteki. Start at me and they put themselves in front of the sun. Well drilled, well motivated. Ball comes up in here. Oh yeah, yeah. Middle, through the middle. Seth Jones breaking forward now. It is the big athletic canic man. He gets it across to his brother, Penny Jones. Penny Jones, that's an absolute screamer! An absolute screamer, exactly what was wanted, what was needed. The Jones brothers, absolutely what was needed. It was a piece of magic here at the back. Penny Jones hasn't scored that good a goal at the back with an assist since I was playing with him. In the second team, what a fantastic goal that is. That'll be a <laughs> screenshot for the next one of Strath Strong. If, if the game goes well, but it is Inverness 1, Strath Glass 1, and it takes a piece of magic from Captain Penny Jones to get the Strath back on level pegging. Here, around about 25 minutes in the game. Seth Jones this time says, but it's so important this season. After that he goes, here comes Stephen Hislop. Scuba. He just knocks it back nice and quickly. The pokey, pokey does it in there. Pokey pops it right across the middle. But into the zone. And he's under trying to get Rudy Todd will get it. Todd just crosses it across to his captain, Jones. Just too tight there. Across. The ball's in here. Is it a chance? Oh, it's not cleared. Inverness keeper gets it away. And it goes to the other side. So Strath get a real fill up from that goal and that quality from Penry. Take a breath, make the target. And Strath looking to get ahead here in this Ballymore Cup match. Ballymore a trophy. Intrinsically looking to. Stuff glass in many ways. First one was 1986, Roy, wasn't it? Mackenzie, Stuff glass, 86. 1986, and Roy was Roy and his brother Colin on that team. Yeah, that's his uh, first team coach of the day, Roy. Uh, Robert Geddes, he was captain. And then two subsequent wins in 2003, where Roy wasn't playing, but his white jeans at the time certainly were uh, iconic. <laughs> Anything. And uh, then 2009. Third time they won it, so since then it's been a little bit of a struggle. I've got our manager, right? Up there from the Bob Black. Oh, Bob Black as well, yeah. Just watching this here, he's here with his son Graham. Bob Black's here, isn't So we'll maybe get a word with him at half time for Straff Strong, hopefully. And ball cuts up, cuts in across. And the Straff definitely that goal changed the, changed the mood entirely here on the Canuck sideline. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Inverness not on the ballet more, but uh, they have won a, come a cup in their history. And uh, the last time these two teams won a cup match actually was the Mod Cup here in 2022 over at the main stadium park. And it went to, well, went to penalties after a 2 2 game. And uh, Inverness emerged victorious. Adding to their 1984 one. And then, uh, so class had won in 1987 at the moment. So. Oh, this is Inverness looking dangerous again, though. Adam Todd. Does he clear it? Exit. Not sure if it's a go or not. Robbie's not giving it. You got VAR there. You know. <laughs> no, I'd have to stop the recording there. <laughs> Don't have the technology on the Zoom on the. Yeah, but the uh, Emirates claim for a goal. But I don't think I don't think it looked like it had gone over. There was a, a fairly half-hearted attempt. I think people were celebrating beforehand. Just quite. Not said. Question there that that was a goal. 
wider shouts of it from the Inverness bench, which is fairly close to the fun fair. But the uh, ball comes out. Strath, though, have looked in difficulty when Inverness have come forward. Forward line. Just the ball chipped in. Ball chips out here. Michael Stokes takes it away. No. Clears it. Oh, not cleared though. Stopped by the Inverness number 12. Possibly I'm going to be doing one. Yeah. No, sorry, sorry. Okay, but was it for a shy? Oh, yeah, yeah. He does the cover. He's a person. He's told to leave it. Cameron Butler told to take it. Oh, right. He doesn't work it. Yeah, yeah. Some really good stuff that he's got. So we've got all the images, you know, and, and we can buy them, you know, in four sides. Comes in here. Uh, goes out though. Maybe a Patterson shy might have yeah. been the trick. But, uh, but, 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 but D here in Renes. And we'll kind of maybe around about half an hour gone. Um, yeah, in Renes 1, Star Class 1. Right. Both good goals. The thing is, the Renes, like, a very, very good finish, I think, from Charlie McDonald, but the um, oh, yeah, Renes forward line do talk together, they've got good communication. They looked very well a couple of years ago in the North 1. It looked like they might have a chance of going up, and I think it just faded away towards the end. Um, of course, they've got Newton Moore in that week, but they went really well in that league, and then I think last year was a bit of a, a drop in standard. But, um, all coming up in here. Let's find it. In the middle, though. Oh, I think Ewan McQueen's giving it against them. I'm not sure if there's quite a few. A battle in the middle? Yeah, okay. To just toss it to the other side. Toss it to the other side. But yes, an incredible finish from Penny Jones versus Strass equaliser. But. Uh, the only Maybe Inverness giving a little bit too much room at the back. Yeah, yeah. Here we are again. Adam Todd, can you deal with it? Was it here? You probably play a, a monthly subscription for them. Yeah. So you want to uh, keep that Knocking as it out. minimal as possible. Yeah. Because we went through basically just like, like popped out the word press. So yeah. the back end. Again, if you load them into Spain, I'm putting it inside. I think Strath may be giving a little bit too much room at the back to the Inverness forwards. Okay, Dolph's not quite for that. Hopefully, they'll get another one. Comes in across. Stokes pops it away to nobody in particular, though, but in fact, to himself. Stokes decides nobody's going to get that ball, so he may as well get it himself. Hislop and Todd. Todd not letting him clear. Ball cleared though, it does get cleared, falls to Patterson. You have to let it go, let it go. Patterson does though. Finds Hislop. Comes off Stephen. Scuba Hislop and goes out. Shy to the town. Drew McNeil and Jason McLeod over there, trailing the sideline. Season, not really good things, but they seem to have they were in the bottom of the league and then they've risen up though. And they do have a good club spirit. All the way down here. Oh, Inverness just capitalising some stuff class hesitation. The Inverness player lost his Carmen. Straff can it. The, 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 the Jones brothers. Just a bit of an absolute boodle hanging here. Is there something from 150 years ago here? And it's yet, yeah, it's a uh, Queen just decides to bring that to an end. Fairly unattractive, shouldn't he? Yeah, it'd be more acceptable in the Captain Chisholm's day, but uh, of course, um, whether Strath get to the final or not, there'll be some uh, Strath class representation at the Ballymore final. Strathclass have, over the last couple of years, um, put forward a Captain Archibald McCrath Chisholm uh, award for the best player of the match in the Ballymore Cup final, which didn't exist before. Um, but as there's a great connection between 
south of the Valley Moors. Say Captain Chisholm wasn't recognised in any other way, formerly in the pantheons of the sport. Oh. Something happened there. Ball was away. Between the Jones brothers, there. Not really sure what happened, but ball cleared up the park. Henry Jones. Come on, Benny, come on. Says Jones gets it. Jones clears it. Don Fraser will pick up. No. Cleared by Inverness. Andrew Patterson falls to him. Patterson just knocks it wide. Inverness player sounds like he's got a puncture or some type of way of escaping. You hear that from here. I think Ray Strachan's going to come on for Stephen Hislop. There goes Ray Strach. So young Pocock, did well. He came on. I think we're looking at around about 10 minutes to go. Half of water. Very nice ball. Two nil clear on the line. Oh, that was a definitely a little bit of football there. And McMaster bundling forward. Oh. McMaster's out. Oh, don't know what's happening there. Oh! Right, Perry, up you come! Pokey, up you come! Stokes. Big long hit. Ray Todd. And Patterson. Patterson will just dominate there. Use his physique. He'll be out. Ian McQueen gives it the other way. Inverness claimed strongly but then didn't protest, so that probably tells you. Some hint. Seth Jones looking after it. Seth's got a lot of goals this year, just burst him from midfield. All cleared. Of Callum. Callum comes out with it. Can he shift it quickly? He'll just knock it to Rudy Todd though. And Todd looking strong. Doing really well this season for both under 17s and. Reasonably easy, but I think maybe it was more. <laughs> oh! Off the bar! Back through. Adam Todd clears it. Woodwork saves his strath. They definitely are looking to try and go in ahead. 
Inverness. They know that there's chances here, they know that Strath maybe just aren't playing at their full potential. Stokes, Hood, Todd clears it out. Strath are camped in their own half at the moment. Stone Fraser and Rudy Strachan. Rudy Strachan's going up front. He's obviously covered from that knock or maybe. Feels he can do a little bit of a job up front, but the ball hasn't got up to him for a while. Yeah, then Renee's out here. Michael Stokes signing off his player a lot, but he gets in the way. Stokes clearing it away. Seth Jones got behind his player. Doesn't play it quite by the Renee's player though. Quite sure if Poke got the chance to get in and about you, and you know, once Pokey's awake and involved in the tackle, you're not shifting him. Ball comes out here, Neil McCallum, Andrew Patterson. Yeah, Neil McCallum out here. Oh, Samuel Parga. Go heads, go heads. Has to have all four players. Master, get the coin that's a hit. Patterson, big bat up the park. Nice Dolph Fraser. Try and keep this in. He's always experienced to hold the ball up so that whilst the forward line can get up and support. Henry Jones has gone into the back post. But McMaster will get the chance. Oh, great block. Pretty Todd has been looking. Trying to find his under 17 manager. And it's through here for Henry Jones this time. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's here. That's 2 1 to the Strath. Possibly a little bit like Inverness with the first one. Inverness have probably had the better of. Inverness had definitely uh, been aggrieved at that. They were really pushing for a, a second themselves, but it's gone up. And Penny Jones has punished them. A great play from Ray Todd to pick out um, Penny at the back post two to the captain. Just around about 40 minutes going, if I'm correct. Absolutely out of the goals, but nobody about it. Rudy Strachan pops it in. Oh, Inverness. That's what some uh, real uh, kind of hate him scared him goalkeeping there. A little bit like Alex McKenzie for the under 17s against uh, Glengarry the other night, that was. There he is, AM6 himself. He's spending time in his fashion line these days. Kenzie's always well, in a fashion though, aren't they? Yeah. You're a fashionable people to be Kenzie's, aren't you? Oh, yeah. So the ball comes in across. Goes through, down the line. Oh, that's it, again. Yeah. Yes, the strap like here. You're Pocock. Well done, you have. Pocock yeah. again in the real danger zone. And Rudy Todd was on top. Goes another corner. Maybe you can say the one thing he needs to work on the game is his concentration, but once he's in the tackle, there's not much shifting that he'll do. You can't move him, and he'll tackle's hard. Ball went across, right over the far side. Played back in, ball knocked in. Easily won, and when his fullback wins it. Maybe you and Nielsen come on to Nolte Vettman. Put a lot of a shitty MRS though. And that is half time here. It is the last two MRS one here at the Buck Park. 
in this first round, Ballymore Cup first round. Right, second half here at the Bach Park, 2-1 to Strathglass in the Ballymore first round. Here we are, the first road on the way to the Ferguson Transport and Shipping Ballymore Cup. Mighty win there from the centre by the Inverness Full Centre. Charles McDonald. And he pops it fairly wide. For something spectacular, but probably just hit somebody in the door jumps. So, Michael Stokes here. Strath will be we're probably disappointed with their second half performance, but two really clinical goals by Fenley Jones made the difference after a Charlie McDonald's goal, which was a really well taken finish after he was given room by the Strath defence. Ball comes here in the middle. Patterson and Nielsen that one away. Argyle v Bray Le Haber there coming in here. Chance here. Oh, right on the target, it's a cracking goal! A really good finish. That's the glass two, Inverness two. Really poor time to lose a goal from Strath after our first second half came from your Nielsen's ball in. Inverness strike scorer was. Okay. Very well taken. Spend a little bit of time, a little bit of space. So it's a lot of play for. And uh, after probably being disappointed to go in a goal behind, Inverness have come into traps and got themselves a wiggle Pagans almost in the first minute there of the second half. 2 2. That was the score last time these two teams met here. As we said, we're on in the mud cup. Seth Jones. Here we go through, and Renee's looking to hit again. There we go. Lands in there. Bringing Renee's score once I work out who it is. Nielsen. No, it's not gone. It's gone now, though. Didn't go the first time, but it went the second time. Not vetting. That one up and down. Yeah, one eye shoulder. One eye shoulder. Andrew Parson takes it. In the middle. One through there. Stopped. By Jones. Probably should have left it and went and run, actually, Penry. Oh, Penny Jones comes away with it though. And he moves it, shifts it up. Tries to find Rudy Strachan. Rudy yeah. knocks it in wide here. It'll fall into a scat. I think the Renee's player will win the foot race. Don't have not got enough to get to it in time. Austin. Nielsen misses. Patterson. Just straight in the throat of the Renee's fullback though. But Rudy Strachan's tight on it. And he's gone down. His knee's gone. His knee's gone. Something's happened. Yep, that does not look good. Getting injured, Rudy Sarkin did go to the ground and stop him rest point the ball. So it's a uh, free hit to the town. Next goal could be important. I think I could 
swing the game either way. Adam Todd takes the hand. Michael Stokes across the goal but finds it here to Andrew Patterson. Ian Nielsen will tie him up though. Patterson knocks it back to McCallum. It's not the cleanest of hits, comes in the middle. We'll find Henry Jones, very deep. Master. Oh, Don Fraser drops it in for Robbie Stokes. It's going to be a corner. Good pressure from the staff. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Ewan Nielsen. Ewan Nielsen. Could be an interesting one. That Ewan Nielsen's real good assist set up that. And it's Link Wiser. That's okay. Ray Strachan here looking. Okay, I don't know if his, his afternoon's over, but it doesn't look like he's in any major discomfort or he's unable to walk, but a little bit of a battle here. Very Todd. He's been so important in setting up the goals. Ball's come back in. Patterson Nielsen. Patterson Nielsen. Oh, yeah, some good pressure from Patterson. Nielsen under real pressure. Strath. Uh, Patterson. Big ranging one. His red shirt's on it though. This time here Nielsen surely won't make a mistake. Yeah, he gets it on the line. Stokes wins it though and clears it. Sky Macintosh, number 13. Maybe Nielsen do it, so I'm sure be a good shy, the veteran. Shift in this heat, but the parts is nice and wide looking for it. Ball comes in. Oh, that's Nielsen's best, but everybody else will get ready to control of it. And it comes back to Nielsen. Back hands across. Adam Todd knocks it out wide, but nobody's after it. McDonald, yep, absolutely. Minute, Charlie McDonald got it. It was going in the back of the nets. Poor play there, no staff player went after it, dropped into space. Charlie McDonald just banged it past Adam Todd. So it's 3 2 to the town. So Straff have got it all cut out to do if they want to have dreams of getting Speed Bridge at the end of the season. It's going there, Ernest though. Like I said, I, I thought the next goal would be important. So we'll have to see how it goes. Ball comes out, Michael Stokes, what can you do? Takes it wide. Long, nice Benny Jones. It's battled in here. This will be a mark as well for Oh, this is surely third, fourth. Oh, Adam Todd this time saves. Make the stocks wide. And Renes almost making it four. This time Todd has equal to it. Sky Macintosh was in and about, trying to get the scraps in. Inverness know they have a lead, they will battle to the end to defend it. Strath are going to at least have to score two goals to win this game. And it goes out to our side. Oh. 
shy. So it'll be the staff's opportunity to go again. Here comes Cameron Butler. Not in the suit, sorry. Good. It's going to drop short. He's going to get to it first. Is it going to be a staff shirt? Really a bit of a foot race in this one, in Vanessa's. Henry Jones up. Hard is going to be done after it. No Fraser. Demi Master pops out though. So, Ian Pocock going to take the shy. Definitely giving him a rest. Feel boost. Oh, well, it's not the best shy from Young Poker. <laughs> Short shy, lost to Henry Jones, but let me push in. Neil McCallum, his body on the line. Nobody's got it though. from Benny Jones, no, back in, finds Donald, Donald Fraser, Donald Fraser through, finds it there, it's going to be a Rudy Todd, can Rudy Todd finish? Jones. Not quite remember this. Well, that's the type of stuff Strafford are going to need. They're going to need a few more attacks like that to, to, to get this game back. Cork wins it. Eunice will take it. He'll push himself forward. You know, this is a good strike to the shy of the ball. Usually, I'm giving him the old curse. Mentioned this in most commentaries until he actually does it. He did score a shot from a shy over the, the, the other park there a few years ago. So here we go, Stokesy. Finds Donald Fraser. Fat winner's McMaster. It's free over the top, surely Penry. Can he do it? This time, oh! It's not even gone out, I don't think. It has. It's a goal hit. Here McLean has signalled. Across. He's found Penry Jones. Penry Jones through. No. Maybe Penry could have just dumped it in. Good win. Ball breaking for the strath there. That's the type of luck you're going to need. Important 10 minutes of the strath now. Good. Doesn't really 
probably get it as far as he would want it to. Poor Kirk Jones, back went. On the snip! Give Poker go! Body's going flying. Oh, it keeps going. Right, Todd knocks it through. Tries to find Dolph Fraser. Dolph Fraser just keeps it moving. Can Robbie Stokes get the legs? Nope, it just goes out. But it's coming. Patterson. Gibson to the injury area, which is good. And Dolph Fraser. Goes into the McMaster's feet. He knocks it wide though. Finds Penry Jones. Penry Jones, oh. Penry should, Penry should like to come across the body. He does this time. It's in there. Oh, just past the post. Come in. Come in here. You told for Strathglass. Time not quite dripping away yet, but. See, there's about 20 minutes left. Ball comes in long. I think it was an accident of coming together. Ten! Seth, you are P! Hold up! Sunday! Austin, Seth, come on! Ian McLean, never been up. Oh, Ian, oh, just to come together when he's on some speed, so. Player got bundled over. Oh, it. All comes across. McNeil now louder on the far side. Driving his troops on. Michael Stokes up. Here they come. Patterson. Patterson there. Who's it going to? Jones is going to burst forward. Ewan Pocock, has he got it? Such an important win, but Inverness come out with it. Young number 10 for Inverness, he's got great legs. He's moving well, and the ball comes up forward. Oh, not cleared. Dangerous. Oh, Michael Stokes might have just saved that there. Back across, it's a corner. A little bit of stick change in here. Alex McKenzie, make sure you and Pocock gets one. Stoppage in a wee bit soon. Not drops in. Patterson. It's the end. Good touch. Clear. Keeps it going. Pushing the back, giving against Ruth Todd. So Inverness have a wee. Cleared up. Big ball from McMaster. Deep in the corner. Let's get McIntosh across. Oh, Charlie McDonald comes away with it. Jones was going to 
Good training, mate. Adam McMaster this time. Ball's cleared up long. It's a straight ball. On now, and as soon as doesn't miss many shies, but he's missed one there. Well, it's not expensive. The ball comes in a great shy, fantastic shy, in fact, almost too good. And it goes out the far end. Darren Reed coming on. That's an interesting move. Darren's been out injured. Ian Pocock's coming off. Don Fraser moving into the wing. Don Fraser moving to full centre, I think. And uh, yeah, Don Fraser's moving to full centre. Darren Reid's going to go up to the forward. Michael Stokes up the ball. Ball comes in. Seth Jones. Seth Jones keeps it moving. Stokes does Robbie Stokes stays instead of going. And he bats with the ball in wide. It's going to go out though. Don't Algorithm. Um, you can also see various things from Sky Sports and from uh, the E, of course, and the Camera Association's own uh, channel as well. Thanks for liking and subscribing, it helps us keep the. makes this channel worthwhile to get your feedback. You can't, don't freeze it in. Through drops in, it's across. McMaster is about to clear it just though. Out into no man's land. Big open run of the defender. Seth Jones wins it. But no, well, Calm gets it, sorry, but it goes out for a shy to Inverness. There will be no rush to take it. Nielsen driving Inverness forward. The game has kind of dipped in intensity. And we must be getting into the last. Yeah, what time is it right? We'd have about 15 to go then. 3-2 down, Strathglass against the Marnesi at their home park. Marnesi looking to set themselves up with an eminently winnable tie with Colmonia and Aberdour. Takes it. That's really Todd. Oh! Daniel Parker stops it. Ray Todd again. This time cut across. Dan Reed. Dan Reed's won it. Dan Reed's holding it. It's popping it. Who's it going to land to? Lands to Seth Jones. Set! 
Keep her stops it. Oh, it's bubbled in, but he hit the target. Good work the keeper. Done, Robbie. Robbie Stokes. Surely going to be no. It's going against the staff. The call. Last time Star had a good little run of pressure with that though. They built on a few, so need a few more with that. It's cooling off now. Cooler breeze. Sun's going behind a cloud. As hot as it was. So a relief to both players, but they'll have put in a lot of effort, both teams here. It's been a, a tight game with great goals from both sides. Last goal really kind of came from really good play, really good finish from Henry Jones. The Marais excellent finishing, perhaps given a little bit too much room by the Strass defence. But uh, more than worthy of their lead at the moment. Can see Charlie McDonald can count. And the bar's in, down in, down through. Root Todd keeps going. Oh, he's lost his stick. Oh, all the times to lose your stick. He was clear through and goal, and his stick came out of his hand. And the impact out. And that's a kick, but it'll go out for a. It's out for a. Shy. Eventually, Ewan McQueen gives the shy. Jones keeps it going. Don Fraser. Oh, Darren Reed, sorry, with the ball. Coming through. Darren Reed will take it through, knocks it wide to Penry Jones, and Penry takes a step. Oh, well defended by the Inverness player. And great defender for Inverness there. Penry Jones looked like he just had another opportunity to complete his hat trick and draw the Strath level. The Strath really going for it now. It's a real test of character for the Strath here. Inverness, one ship for Wong. And his hoods, oh! Inverness have it here. This is one of these ones you kind of get the feeling that it's going to be in poorly for the Strath. Ball going long. Sky McIntosh sits over it. He'll take his time. Just chips it in. Oh, Todd! Yep, he had to put a stick on it. Puts it out for the shy. Young Inverness forward was given a lot of time though to line it up. Callum, ball put back across, Stokes gets a stick on it, Don Fraser needs to launch that goal, oh, yeah, it's just, Inverness just getting foot's bodies to it, Don Fraser demands the ball, ball's going up long, and Robbie Stokes get it in, can he shift it, oh, it wobbles out, alright, you and Nilsson's going to take it, and that's more just a run down the clock than anything, Should be getting me sick this one. He's had a couple he's been dissatisfied with. I don't know, yeah. man. But he's had a couple he's been dissatisfied with, but uh, I'm sure he'll make sure of this one. So, an opportunity going. Oh! One by Penry Jones. Oh, I'll just fall to the Inverness and get it again clear. Don Fraser. Inverness winning it. Inverness are winning the 50 50s. They're winning the breakdowns. It's going to go out the far side. It's going to be a Strath ball, but. We are now at that point when the time is ticking down and the staff really are going to need some in if they're going to even get extra time here. Ball comes in, Don Fraser. Fraser right down to the throat. Robbie Stokes, Darren Reed, and on top of the keeper. Here we go, chance, oh it doesn't fall. So it's a chance, let's go. Strath going up, Seth Jones runs over to take it. Time ticking away. We're probably pushing towards the last five minutes here. Eight to go, Roy McKenzie's telling me. Ball 
goes in long. Not too much on it. And when this keeper will go and take his whole hit. Not sure he can go for the rest of the eight. Usually Dougie Rankin, he's away at a wedding. He's at my wedding next week. So here we go. It's really Hughes actually, that's it. That's it. It's really Hughes of Grim fame. Self and Stephen Bellshot, important players. Used to play for Broom. Now make their play at Renes. It's been important to provide a bit of stability for the town in these last few years. Oh, cut in! Bit of a chaotic thing. Falls in. Rudy Todd. Falls to Potty Frost Penny Jones. He'll just pop it back across. Oh! Hughes will get it there. It's oh! It's out for a corner. Oh! Just need somebody to pull the trigger there. It's a chance here. For the Strath. Penny decided to pass it along. Rui Hughes, a good wee chinty, good chinty player though. He'll deal with that well. Put a lot of his time in goals as well for the broom back in the day. Oh, Paul no longer has the club of course. Robbie Stokes, across to Patterson. Ewan Nielsen will just carry this. Oh, he just pushes out. Let's the ball do the work. And right, up we come. Inverness. Can the sucker punch? Strath. Michael Stokes here. He's going back and Josh providing him with a lot of attention. Stokes eight. Finds it Neil McCallum. Neil McCallum. Long way straight in the throat of the Inverness. Uh, but it was a kick. Very. Good <laughs> little technique. Strath will hopefully publish it. Don Fraser demanding Neil McCallum come up and take it. McCallum gets away with a poor clearance. Get someone across on it, but it'll be an Inverness shirt clears, I think. Yes. Seth Jones pushes through to Don Fraser. He'll float it in. It falls down. Rupert's and Robbie Stokes. Darren Reid. Go! Oh, just over. with the better of the play now here in the final runs but maybe could it be a little too, a little too late that's the question just under five minutes to go Brady Hughes launches it up here towards us in the gantry Neil McCallum pushing, pushing the back Charlie McDonald he's desperate for a famous win here playing through Stokes 8 So going to be a free hit just in the edge of the area for Stuck Lass. Don't forget Renee, sorry. Oof. Pass, it's a wasted effort there. And Renee's getting made to take it again, which might actually be more to their benefit, and they get the goal, 4-2. That's the game, probably going 4-2. Referee and opponent, you got the ticket. And that's probably the game. Burnett's four, so class two. And a real disappointment in a competition that Strath definitely felt they had a chance of progressing well. Looks like it'll be Inverness going to the next um, Getting to the next round. Can only be a few moments left. Here we go, and could, could make it 5 2. Press will be disappointed. Strasbourg will be one. 
consolation is that it's not in the league, which is where really the priority lies this year, but the Ballymore was definitely something that the team looked like they could have. Come on to Aberdeer, both in the south one. But Inverness will be very, very happy with this win against the local rivals. There's another chance. And Todd keeps it out. All coming up. Straff really need a miracle now these last couple of minutes. All up. Dan Reid. Inverness wins it. Oh! Just that little type of thing. That was when you're winning, those are the ones that are going with you. The ones when you're not. Yeah. Jones. Seth Jones just running it. Seth Jones through. Oh! Cleared out. Darren Reid will come motoring. That's it. Knocks it in. And on top of Rudy Hughes. Just pops it away. That's a corner. So Strathy two goals to even get extra time now. Can only be moments left though of at least regulation time. Andrew Pats goes out to take it. All going across. Take it through. Seth Jones. Oh! Another corner. Ray Hughes will be happy to see that go out. Roddy McCoy in, making sure that their ball's put out to Patterson. Can only be moments left. I said, Patterson in, knocks it in cross. Right, and it's cleared out for a shy. Inverness will just be happy to do it. They know they've got that two gold cushion. Corner. But this is just the co this is just running the clock down for Inverness. Yeah. Be happy that actually towards the end it's been more comfortable than they expect. Inverness making a substitution. Run down a bit of the clock. Run down the clock. Corner, another corner, but oh. there's going to be a chance of two goals. They've definitely gone away these last few moments. Yeah, right, it's long until Ewan McLean will bow the final assault. Oh, just over. So that's it. Check the watch for Ewan McLean. Disappointment for the Strath here at the Buff Park. Yet again in the cup.
There we are, don't really. Game just frittering out for Strath. Tempered on the sidelines, both sides. Ballymore first round match, Inverness coming away with a 4 2 win against the class. A real um, sick dirt for the Strath. They just thought they would have gone into this game. They started off well. Um, Inverness, though, took a, a lead, perhaps a little bit against running play, but they had stuck in. And then uh, Penny Jones, two absolute screamers to draw them in the Strath in the lead at half time. But the Stephen Belshaw scored an equal straight after half time and then. Inverness got a third goal and then a second one um, in the about 10 minutes left, which just really killed any hope. Strath had a Benny come back and the game kind of fitted out. A little bit of bad temperedness towards the end, but um, Inverness, congratulations to them. Going in the second round, they would win Cumber and Aberdour, and it uh, gives them a great opportunity of getting to the semi final. Um, no disrespect to the two South Cups, but um, Inverness will be very delighted with the progress in the Valley Moor. For the Strath, it's really about making sure that uh, such a result is not in the league against Inverness. And, uh, thanks very much for watching here on uh, Galaxy War Kamenach. And um, we'll uh, please also keep following our documentary on the life of Strathcarshire Club. Start strong.